quarter push-up. Okay, so there's other one and one quarter variations you've done with different lifts and exercises. A push-up is no easier than any of the other ones. Okay, so you're gonna start at the top push-up. Okay, I'm gonna reach away from the floor. I'm gonna inhale at the top, all the way down, quarter the way up, back down, all the way up, reach along at the top. Now, as far as mechanics go with your hand, that's gonna be the biggest thing I want you to pay attention to, to as you do this exercise, besides the actual uh, concept of the movement, meaning that we get all the way down, go a quarter the way up, go back down, and all the way up. And that's this concept uh, with the hand. Uh, on the way down, if pressure's on the outside of your hands, you feel primarily more pressure on the outside of your palm, your uh, ring finger, and your pinky finger, that's okay. When you go back up, however, we should see the shift. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but we should see the shift as I press back up, it goes back to my thumb and index finger and the inside of my palm, okay? So, as I'm going down, again, I don't know if you can see in the video, I'm on the outside of my palms, not to the point where my, my hands, my thumb and index finger are lifting up, because that's too much. But it's just the pressure shifted there, and then as I push up, I shift that pressure back to the inside of my hand and press up. Okay. Be mindful of that as you go on and execute that. Um, one of the common errors I see with push-ups with the clients is they, they like to stay on the outside of the hands too much. Um, that could be due to a lack of rotation of the shoulder, or it could just be simply cueing them in the right position, which hopefully is the case for you. If the lack of rotation of the shoulder, then we'll have something else that we need to address.